Welcome to Daily News Podcast, the voice of Mangalore today. Here, we dissect the news, uncover the stories, and bring to light the issues that matter most to you. Join us as we navigate through today's pressing news. In an exclusive statement today, the Congress Chief Whip in the Legislative Council, Salim Ahmed, confidently declared that the Congress Party is poised to secure victories in all six seats in the forthcoming elections for the graduate and teacher constituencies of the Karnataka Legislative Council. Salim Ahmed highlighted the credentials of Ayanur Manjanath and Dr. Manjanath, the potential candidates for these constituencies, emphasizing their experience and popular support. He attributed this projected success to the implementation of the five guarantee schemes by the Congress government, which have significantly benefited the youth and teachers in the region. Criticizing the BJP government at the center, Ahmed expressed confidence that the Congress party, under the leadership of Rahul Gandhi, will secure a majority in the upcoming elections and lead the central government. He also assured the public that the state government is committed to fulfilling the demands of teachers including the implementation of the old pension scheme. Prominent party leaders such as K. Harish Kumar, Shakuntala T. Shetty, and Shashidar Hegde were present at the press conference, endorsing the Congress party's agenda and vision for the future. In Udupi, a recent viral video depicting an intense clash between two groups had led to the arrest of six individuals involved. The Udupi police detained three more members, identified as Majid, Alfaz and Sharif, belonging to the Garuda gang. The dispute, which escalated into a physical altercation involving two cars, was reportedly sparked by a disagreement over a real estate transaction. The clash turned violent as sharp weapons were brandished during the incident. The person injured in the video, Sharif, has been treated and discharged from the hospital. This incident has sparked public concern and prompted authorities to take strict action against those involved in the brawl. In a bid to enhance tourist safety, 26 skilled home guard teams have been stationed at various beaches in Dakshina Kannada and Udupi districts. Keeping a close watch from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. at key spots like Sameshwar, Ulal, and Tanarbavi, these home guards will reinforce safety protocols, especially during the monsoon season when sea conditions can turn perilous. Despite the presence of lifeguards, the authorities aim to prevent mishaps by ensuring that visitors abide by regulations and avoid risky activities. District Collector has emphasized the importance of cautioning tourists about the potential dangers of swimming in rough waters. This proactive measure aims to maintain a safe environment at coastal attractions and protect visitors from harm. Mangaluru witnessed political leaders visiting Sri Kshetra Dharmasthala Manjanatha Swami Temple for prayers. CM Siddharamaya and Deputy CM DK Shivakumar sought blessings for good rains, harvest, and peace in Karnataka. CM shared on social media about the special puja and meeting happy women devotees benefiting from government schemes. Deputy CM appreciated Dr. Hegade's praise for the Shakti scheme and devotees' support for Gruha Lakshmi scheme. However, delays in Darshan due to the visit led to devotees expressing anger through slogans during the chief minister's arrival. In a recent development, the BJP has expelled former Udupi MLA Kiragupathi Bhatt for six years for contesting as a rebel candidate in the Legislative Council election. The party has nominated Dhananjaya Sarji as its candidate for the Southwest Graduates constituency. Mr. Bhatt, who previously won from Udupi in multiple elections, expressed disappointment over being replaced without prior notice. He criticized the party for neglecting the coastal belt, pointing out the lack of local candidates in key constituencies. This move has stirred controversy within the party, with Mr. Bhatt claiming that senior members were being sidelined. Stay tuned for more updates on this evolving political saga in and around Udupi. Tragedy struck a family from Devanahalli, Bengaluru Rural District, as six members lost their lives in a fatal road accident near Hassan Town. The accident occurred when their car, returning from Mangaluru, collided with a truck after jumping the median in Ichanahali village. The deceased have been identified as Sunand, Narayanaswamy, Nethra Ravikumar, Chethan, and Gunashakar. The family had hired a car for a medical trip to Mangaluru, with Gunashakar behind the wheel. Police suspect drowsiness may have caused the accident due to which the car crashed into the truck. 
the bodies were moved to Hassan Institute of Medical Sciences, HIMS, and the Hassan Traffic Police have filed a case under relevant sections of the Indian Penal Code. Our hearts go out to the grieving family in this difficult time. In the upcoming Lok Sabha elections, the final Phase 7 polling on June 1st will cover 57 parliamentary constituencies in eight states' UTs. Voting has been completed in 28 states' UTs and 486 PCs, along with state assemblies in Arunachal Pradesh, Sikkim, Andhra Pradesh, and Odisha. Today, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will address rallies in Uttar Pradesh, while Home Minister Amit Shah and BJP leader J.P. Nada will engage with voters in Punjab and Bihar. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi focuses on Himachal Pradesh. Despite the scorching weather, the latest voting round saw a turnout of 59.82%, with West Bengal low leading at 78.20%, and Jammu and Kashmir at the bottom with 53.38%. Bihar, Haryana, Jharkhand, Delhi, Odisha, and Uttar Pradesh also saw significant voter participation. In a tragic incident at a gaming zone in Rajkot, Gujarat, a massive fire claimed the lives of 33 individuals, including children. The charred bodies have made identification difficult. The owners of the gaming zone have been detained as officials conduct investigations. Prime Minister Narendra Modi expressed his distress and extended prayers for the affected families. President Drupadi Murmu also shared her condolences and hopes for the speedy recovery of the injured. Chief Minister Bhupendra Patel instructed immediate rescue and relief operations and stressed on prioritizing medical treatment for the injured. The police commissioner mentioned registering an offense for negligence and initiating investigations. As rescue operations continue, the authorities are working to ascertain the cause of the fire and ensure safety measures in gaming zones across the city. As we close today's session, our thanks go out to you, our viewers. For further reading and the latest news, be sure to visit mangalortoday.com. And, for your daily dose of news, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for choosing Mangalore today. Goodbye.